uh, it's a it's a fantastic uh, you know pride and and honor for me to join Wipro. It's a company I've you know I've been competing with for the last twenty years. I've learned to really respect tremendously uh, over the years, and now uh, being at the helm of the of the company is is a, is a great privilege. Uh, in quite um, unusual times, unfortunately, or fortunately, this is totally unexpected, but this is the time where we are. And, uh, you know, I think during those last months, um, the Wipro organization and the teams have done an incredible job, really, uh, to um, stay close to the customers, to stay close to the employees, to really make sure that we were, you know, keeping safe uh, our employees and really uh, continue to deliver the services uh, for, for our customers. 95% of our employees have been working from home and continue to do so. Uh, so the activity is actually uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, there is high intensity uh, in the way our employees are connecting with our clients every single day. Um, and, you know, one lesson out of this uh, uh, crisis is that uh, technology matters for our clients. Clients need to look at ways to become more digital. And I think uh, cloud is an opportunity, is needed to drive digital transformation in an organization from a technological standpoint. And um, there's a lot of act activities that will accelerate in my mind over the next few uh, months across sectors to get the companies more uh, digital uh, mature, if you like. That's certainly a trend I think so many of us have observed in real time, this push to become more yeah. digital and get so many of our usual activities online, on the cloud, as we adapt to this new environment. Um, but at the same time, so many sectors are under huge pressure to cut costs. The banking sector in particular, as they deal with lower and lower interest rates and a, a difficult environment ahead. And the banking sector uses so many um, IT services that come out of India for many different parts of their business. So how, how do you reconcile this? How are your clients dealing with this pressure to cut costs? And how are IT budgets in particular holding up in this environment? Well, you're absolutely right. I think there's no 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 doubt that every sector is you know facing uh, pressure on the top line and therefore pressure on the bottom line. Uh, the financial sector is exposed uh, definitely. I think, by the way, it's a sector uh, you know that I I've known very well for many years. It's a sector that has been used to dealing with cost management, uh, productivity uh, 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 challenges over the years, and so about how can you reduce the cost of running your operations, free up some of the savings to reinvest into your future. And when you're reinvesting into your future, it's really about how can I you know, develop new stream of revenue, new opportunities to connect with clients, new markets, new models, new business models. And at the same time, how can I be more agile? How can I be more nimble? How can I run my operations more efficiently at a lower cost? So it's about really uh, driving this shift and, and, and refocusing the investments uh, into what will make you stronger in the future while uh, uh, you know, reducing cost helps you uh, uh, addressing your short-term uh, challenges. My, my conviction is that, you know, Technology is a big driver of efficiency. And so uh, the bigger risk is for companies to really cut not only on the cost of running, but also on the investment side, which will potentially prevent us, prevent them from growing when the market, you know, demand will accelerate over, over the next uh, weeks and months.